Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI. And this is a really nice 25-year-old gentleman who came in with shoulder pain. And he works out and his arm's getting weak and he has pain. And we see here he has a fluid collection medial to the glenoid here. This is in the spinal glenoid notch where this little recess is. And the spinal glenoid notch cyst is septated and it's pretty large. And when you see a spinal glenoid notch cyst, think of number one, a paralabral cyst. So you look for communication and look for labral tear really hard. And sometimes it can just be ganglion cysts in here. And when you see a cyst in here, the suprascapular nerve courses through the spinal glenoid notch. And when the nerve is compressed significantly by something this large, oftentimes it'll cause neurogenic edema or atrophy of the supraspinatus and or infraspinatus muscles because both of those are innervated by the uh, suprascapular nerve. So this is again a pretty big cyst here. I'm showing another view of what it looks like. So our job now is to find out is this a ganglion cyst that's not associated with a labral tear or is there a labral tear and with a little communication here. So on this view we don't really see too much superior labrum looks pretty good. You know you say well there's a little signal right there barely just one view and um, otherwise looks pretty good. Now if we put up the actual images we see this big cyst, of course, is all the way across here. And if we look over here, we're looking for a communication with a, the labrum. Nothing dramatic, I mean, no obvious communication. But if we look really carefully, maybe there is a little band coming across here, over. Can't really see it going into here, but that may be enough to if you have something this large. Um, there's a little band here, this may be a little tail going into a labral tear. So this is the posterior labrum here. Here's the posterior glenoid and we do see a vertical band, I'm sorry, a linear band, a really well-defined band right there. So I believe this is a tear through the base of the posterior labrum right at the periosteal attachment and then this is probably a tiny little tail coming up to a paralabral cyst. Now of course I wish it was bigger than this. You can little uh, blood vessels too that can fake you out and look like a tail but uh, this is convincing enough to have this signal here especially on this cut here where you see that little bright signal coming backwards and this big cyst. It looks like a, again, a paralabral cyst filling the spinal glenoid notch. There's a coronal view T2 weighted sequence here to see how far medially this goes. This is the coracoclavicular ligaments here, coracoid process, clavicle. You see these fanny out come up but it goes medial to those all the way across. And that's it. Thank you so much.